how to change your Ryobi Zero Turn riding mower blades. When changing blades on your Ryobi Zero Turn electric riding mower or installing the blades used with the bagging accessory, there are two ways to access the blades. You can remove the deck or raise the mower. If you choose to raise the mower to access the blades, lift the mower deck to the highest setting. Make sure the mower is properly secured and the parking brake is set before proceeding. Failure to properly secure the mower could cause it to fall, resulting in death or possible serious personal injury. Caution: Only use replacement blade bolts authorized by the manufacturer of your riding mower. Use of blade bolts not authorized is hazardous and may damage your riding mower. For this demonstration, you will remove the deck from the riding mower for easier access. To remove the deck, first, make sure the directional levers are in a neutral position and the blade engage knob is down. Next, remove the start key, set the parking brake, and lower the deck to its lowest height. Then, disconnect the cables that connect the cutting deck to the mower. Remove the three hitch pins and washers that secure the cutting deck in place. Then remove the bolts holding the cutting deck to the mower. With the deck free from the mower, slide the deck out from under the mower. To remove the blades, wedge a block of wood between the blade and the mower deck to prevent the blade from turning. Then loosen the blade nut by turning it counterclockwise using a 15 millimeter wrench or socket. Remove the blade nut, spring washer, and blade. Next. Place the new blade on the shaft against the corresponding blade posts. Ensure the blade is properly seated with the shaft going through the center blade hole and the two blade posts inserted into their respective holes on the blade. When seated properly, the blade should be flat against the blade posts. Make sure the blade is installed with the curved ends pointing up towards the mower deck and not down toward the ground. Replace the spring washer then thread the blade nut on the shaft and finger tighten. To finish, torque the blade nut down clockwise using a torque wrench to ensure the bolt is properly tightened. The recommended torque for the blade nut is 600 to 650 inch-pounds. Make certain all parts are replaced in the exact order in which they were removed. Repeat these steps for the other blade. Bagging blades would also install in the same way. When putting the deck back on, be sure to check the alignment and level the deck front to back. Instructions for leveling the deck are on page 25 of the operator's manual. When reconnecting the cables from the mower deck to the mower, be sure to complete both steps of the process or the mower will not start. Be sure to line up the flat sides on each plug before connecting them. Push each end together and twist the wing tips to tighten until you feel them fall into the first groove. Next, push the cables together and twist the wing tips to tighten until both plugs fit flush together. Contact customer service for assistance at 1-800-860-4050.